everyone, welcome back to Be Terrific. I'm Andrea Fasano, and we are here live at Toy Fair 2016, I was going to say 2016, at <laughs> Jacob Javits Center here in New York City. And so much fun stuff going on today. And now I have two adorable inventors with me. They are the winners of the Young Inventor Challenge out of the Chicago Toy and Game Fair that happens every November. It's open to kids 6 to 18 who have an original idea for a toy or game. And it's sponsored by Spin Master, who we had on the show before. And this is Steven and Kadar. And I am so excited to have you guys here on the show. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, guys. These are the winners. So there is a junior and a senior division, correct? And so Steven won the senior division. And Kater, you won the junior division. How excited were you about that? I was so excited that I wanted to get to my prize right away. Right away. And there were a ton of prizes, I heard. So what did you guys uh, get? You got a bunch of toys, right? Um, we got like a big robot called Mechanoid G15KS. Whoa. That's awesome. And we get Erector. It's where you can bring your imagination to life. Look at him. <laughs> I know why they picked you. Um, and you guys also got a free trip to New York to come to Toy Fair. Yep. How cool is that? It's cool. It's so cool, right? So you're here at Toy Fair, and you're showing off your toys that you won. So, um, Steven, tell me about your toy or game that you created. Uh, it's called Chromotag. I'm wearing one of the shirts that we use for it. It's We use this special paint. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right here. It's supposed to not be... You're not supposed to see it right now, but once it gets cold, it becomes a different color, and then you will be able to see it, and we'll demonstrate that. So what made you come up with this game? Well, I was thinking of these toy cars that I saw, and they changed color when you put them in water because they would get cold. And then I thought about how paintball, it's like, it's fun, it's really fun, I love it, but it's, it really hurts and it's messy with all the paint. Right. So I thought if we put the same material that was on the cars onto clothing and then had a water gun fight, it would have the same effect as paintball, but it wouldn't be as painful. Or messy, right? Yeah. Wow, what an idea. Did you think you'd even have a chance of winning at this thing? No. <laughs> but you did. Yeah. So it's amazing. Very cool. All right, and Kadar, what's the name of your toy or game? There's a game, right? Yes, okay. it's a board game. It's a board game. And it's called Storybot. It teaches our blind friends how to code, including our friends who can see how to code, and they get to feel it. So they get to feel code, like feel the blocks. So code, explain to me what you mean by code, as in set, how to set up games and do that kind of thing? Oh, well you see these objects? Yes. I put them on the board and they're all together so I can form my story. So if I wanted I could say, feel this, uh -huh. and I'll be like, oh, this must be Goldilocks. And then you just create your own story, basically. Yes. And that's how, oh, that's amazing. That's just amazing to me. <laughs> so, uh, and this is called what again? Storybot. Storybot. What made you come up with Storybot? Oh, well, I loved to play video games when I was five. Uh-huh. And I'm sorry, tell the audience, how old are you now? Seven. Okay. So I love to play video games when I was five, mm -hmm. but it was really hurting my eyes and making me stressed. So my mom had to stop that by saying the Wii broke. And I was really the most unhappiest person in the world. Really? Yes. Because you had to stop playing video games? Yeah. Right. So then what happened? Well, that was only what my mom said. Oh. So my mom said, this is not the end. You can learn how to code and make your own video games. Mom, that is genius and really putting a lot of pressure on your son. <laughs> your mom's right over there, right? Yes. But she must have a lot of faith in you that she could think that you'd be able to code your own game. That's an amazing thing to teach someone. Yep, she also homeschools me. Oh my gosh. So you're pretty smart, huh? Yeah. Aw, and your mom seems pretty smart too. <laughs> 
So um, we are going to have you uh, show us. Can you show us a little bit about this game and how to play? Yes. So this is Goldilocks right here. Okay. And we want her to come and tag this bunny. So this is all based on fairy tales, correct? Yes. Okay, because we have the three little pigs over here. No, those are the three little bears. Little bears. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so why don't you tell me what else is on this board? Well, there is the Goldilocks. Right. There's obstacles like the trees. And there's paws that tell you what direction. Cute. And there's objects to touch. Like the chair and the bunny. He's just going to fix your mic right there. <laughs> and the cup. Okay. So, I'll tell you what the code is. Yes, please. When the green flag is clicked, I'm going to move up three steps, move right two steps, and then it's move up three steps again. Now I'm on the bunny, which I want to tag, so it's if then. And if then is where there's a question and the character performs an act based on the answer. So the question is, what am I touching? Am I touching the bunny? So if touching bunny, say tag your it, end the if then and stop the code. This really is unbelievable. Do you think kids your age can learn this stuff or really get, get to understand this kind of thing? Yeah, you can do anything at any age if you put the effort in it. That's exactly what we're saying here at Toy Fair. And games are really for any age, correct? Yes. Yeah. Except, you know, if they're dangerous. You don't want to mess with the younger. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's really exciting. I'm really excited for both of you. All right, and now we're going to have Steven. We're going to have Dad Larry step in. So, as I said, my... My shirt, this part of the shirt is going to change color right? since it's getting wet. Oh, look at that. We could do that. <laughs> so this is basically, Stephen, if you're playing with water guns. Yeah, but we just use squirters. Right, for, for demonstration purposes. But that way, so you know if you're in the backyard and you're playing in the summertime, you know if you got hit, right? I mean, that's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. So, very cool. Um, you guys, I am just amazed by both of you and want to thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Um, anything here at Toy Fair that you're really excited about or have seen that you got really excited about? Go ahead. Being on stage. You like this? Yeah. This is your favorite part of Toy Fair? Yeah, I like stage. Cool. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to tell people about your game? Well, I think it's pretty awesome, and I want to in, and I want to make it even better. How would you do that? Well, maybe I could say things like animate it, like when she gets to the bunny, she could actually say it on her own. Tag you or it, <gasps> like based on the code pieces, she does it on her own. Like she could move on her own and tag the bunny and say you're it. That is pretty cool. And so, I think you just understanding this and knowing it is an amazing thing. So it's a great game. But listen to this. I made the entire story on the computer. You did? Yes. That's awesome. And are you happier now? Yes. <laughs> I'm so much happier, but I'm still looking forward to get my Wii back. Your game time back. Because I haven't been using it for two years. Oh, well, that's good. I think you'll be more excited than to use it when you get back to it, right? Yeah. Good. Well, uh, Kadar, I wish you so much luck with your game and enjoy New York City. And Steven, thank you so much for coming on the show. And I, so much luck with your product. I think that's so cool. Keep going. Are you going to try and invent other things now? Um, I think so. I have some other plans. Yeah. yeah, a couple more ideas. That is really exciting. Well, thank you so much to your parents, guys. Thank you for bringing them on the show. Um, and you guys, stay tuned for so much more. We were talking about having inventors, young inventors on, and I am so excited that we have this chance because that's what it's all about here at uh, Be Terrific. So we are here live at Toy Fair 2016. Stay tuned for more.